This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1285, Seven Tips for a Better Night's Sleep, part two, by Melanie Schwader of abrighterwild.com, and I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Tuesday, and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I simply read to you from the best health and fitness blogs for free. I cover fitness, nutrition, stress management, weight management, and lots more, just like an audiobook, but from a bunch of different authors, and always with permission from the sites. Now remember, today's post is part two from yesterday, so if you're new here or skipping around, I'd recommend listening to yesterday's episode first. That's episode 1284. But if you're all caught up, let's jump right in and hear part two and continue optimizing your life. Seven Tips for a Better Night's Sleep, part two, by Melanie Schwader of abrighterwild.com. Tip number four. Go herbal. Mother Nature has some pretty bad tools to help you calm down your anxious brain, relax your painful muscles, and drift into a peaceful slumber. If you haven't ever tried an herbal sleep formula, it's always great to chat with a certified herbalist and make sure the herbs won't interact with any other meds that you're taking. Plants like valerian, hops, passionflower, skullcap, chamomile, and poppy can help with insomnia and can be taken either occasionally or longer term. If you have a chronic issue with stress and sleep, implementing so-called adaptogenic herbs can be a life-changing decision. Adaptogenic herbs like ashwagandha, rhodiola, holy basil, and eleuthero could help shift your physiological system to a state of more calm and clarity. Personally, I'm working on an herbal tincture that has several of these ingredients in it, and I can't wait to try it out. In the meantime, I do take both valerian and chamomile at bedtime in capsule form, along with a hot cup of yogi tea when the weather starts getting cool. Tip number five, do some yoga. I recently wrote a guest blog post over at BuddhiBox about my three favorite yoga poses to help you catch some Zs, and I hope you go over and check it out. But in the meantime, let me just say how amazingly helpful a few minutes of yoga can be in the quest to get better sleep. I do a lot of sitting during the day, working mostly as a writer. So any chance I get to move my body is great in helping me feel better. So whether you're at a desk all day and are stiff and sore, or you're out and about running around, yoga can help you find your center at the end of the night. Most of the time, I flow through a few of these poses. Standing forward fold, child's pose, legs up the wall, reclined bound angle pose, seated forward fold, reclined hero pose, and supported bridge pose. So tonight, before getting into bed, try a few of these poses to shake off the day, stretch out your muscles, and prepare for a more relaxed sleep. Six, take a time out. If you're like most people, you wake up to your smartphone and you go to sleep with it right next to you. The first and last things you see every day are probably your social media feeds or your favorite websites. I will be the first to admit that I've spent one too many nights on Instagram, as well as gotten caught in the string of emails as soon as my eyes opened. Our internet age of uber-connectedness has its benefits, but sadly, better sleep is not one of them. All that overstimulation, not to mention the FOMO, or fear of missing out, that many of us feel, can keep you awake well into the wee hours. Treat your brain to a little technology break before bed. Set aside 15, 30, or 60 minutes where you are unplugged from the world, where you aren't feeling the pull of tweets and texts and status updates. Making space for quiet, for reflection, for connection with your loved ones, the ones in front of you, not on the computer, and for winding down can save your nervous system and potentially your relationships, hint, hint. So put that phone on silent or airplane mode, or better yet, turn it off completely and see how it feels. And finally, tip number seven, drink more water. Yeah, yeah, you've heard this one a million times by now, right? Everyone from your mom to your gym coach wants to remind you that water is good for you and that you should be aiming for eight clean, fresh cups a day. The thing is, most of us are chronically dehydrated and don't even know it. We're foggy, tired, cranky, in pain, and we always seem to be hungry or craving junk food. Well, adding some water to your day can greatly improve all of these things. I admit, I'm kind of a hydration freak. You can ask anyone. And I carry around a bottle with me everywhere and get anxious if I don't have one. 
When you drink more water, you allow your body to function more smoothly. You can help level out your hormones, boost your immunity, improve your digestion, and smooth out your frazzled nerves. Plus, all that water leaves less room for things like soda, juice, and energy drinks. And that's a win-win for everyone. Just a tip though, taper down your hydration in the couple of hours before bed. Otherwise, you'll be making quite a few visits to the bathroom when you should be visiting dreamland. You just listened to part two of the post titled Seven Tips for a Better Night's Sleep by Melanie Schwader of abrighterwild.com. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this episode. One problem I often hear about meal subscription services is that there's a limited number of options from which to choose. Well, HelloFresh has solved that problem with over 25 recipes featuring a range of flavors, cuisines, and ingredients, you'll never get bored. Try something new every week. And they continue to add delicious extras like quick breakfasts and lunches, proteins, savory sides, and crave-worthy desserts. The one thing all of these options have in common? They are all delicious. I had heard so much about the home-style chicken and biscuit pot pie, but thought everyone was exaggerating how good it was until I tried it and it melted in my mouth. It was the ultimate comfort food. Now you can try it for yourself with a special discount for our listeners. Go to hellofresh.com slash OHD12 and use code OHD12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. That's hellofresh.com slash OHD12 and use code OHD12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. HelloFresh. America's number one meal kit. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. I love tip number six that Melanie shared, taking a timeout. Melanie mentioned that taking a digital timeout can help slow your body and mind. This will hopefully make it a little easier to fall asleep. I would like to add to this suggestion and say that before our heads hit the pillow, we take some time to quiet our minds and our bodies. This will allow for all of those stressful thoughts to surface. At first, this may sound like a bad thing, but allowing for some quiet reflection will allow you to acknowledge any repressed thoughts and feelings that tend to surface at the worst time, like when you're trying to fall asleep. So one of the best ways to do this is set aside time at least 30 minutes before bed to express your thoughts and feelings in writing. By doing this, you unburden your mind you're freeing your mind of these thoughts and feelings, which again, will hopefully make it easier for you to fall asleep and maybe even have sweeter dreams. All right, that'll do it for me for today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening every day. I hope you're having a great week so far and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.